same old G, the GSP, of RPGs. I don't know if it's the French or it's the Freeze, but boy, your mind stop working to speak to your main man in such pedestrian tones. You want to talk about me pointing my own hands inward? I'm going to turn my hands outward and grab a hold of you, you sardonic snow monkey, and send you toppling down to the ground with such a quickness you'll think when Eagle himself swooped on the air and slapped the bitch right out your ass. Now, just like your doppelganger GSP, my man, Nick Diaz, is going to deliver that horrible beating, just like the trouncing your old simmering simple brain has just received from your main man. Now, speaking on to other indigents of the hobby, another RPG horror story! That's right, you love them, you need them, they fuel you like cocaine addictions. Now, we're going to be talking about a certain situation that I encountered and with most uh, glee and some degree of uncomfortability observed and watched. And this was... About nine years ago, in fact, the girl who is involved in this does watch my channel, watch the videos from time to time, and you best damn well believe, Kelly, I'm sending you this one, because this is all about you. Now, she was a, a very talented game master, but not the, not the sort of person who had the greatest degree of tolerance to suffer fools, and we're going to talk about a fool. That's the theme today. The GSP of RPG, a fool. This man named Jared, a fool. Now, what he did, he came into this game, and we were with her, uh, now husband at the time, I think boyfriend, and you know, the Inquisitor was running a game of Changeling the Dreaming. Now, right off the bat, you know there's a problem right there. Changeling the Dreaming, uh, well, we all know <laughs> what Changeling the Dreaming can do. Now, we're playing Changeling the Dreaming, and all of a sudden, it's towards the, well, this was the end of the, the end of that game. Uh, <clears throat> this guy named Jared, and he had his girlfriend or wife or something to play with him. And she never did too much. She basically was a slaw. Just imagine a slaw. Like, that's exactly what the girl looked like. A slaw for Chase of the Dream. I'm going to leave you to decide that on your own. But she was a slaw. Like, straight up. She just like, hey, come out of the book. <laughs> you know, animated. And they were playing. And he was a shit player. He'd always try to, you know, in, in do in character bullying and stuff for a concept. Like, you know, if you're playing with concept oriented guys, and all of a sudden his concept is five bouts of melee and a magic weapon. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? And they try to lean on people. So she just fucking lost her shit, monkey gorilla style. We're playing over at their apartment. And she just starts going berserk on him. Berserk like I've never seen anyone go on anyone in RPG. Now, <laughs> your main man over nearly 26 years, glorious years in this hobby, has seen a lot of things go down, down, down. I've seen people get thrown quite literally. Well, I'm going to tell you that in another story. <laughs> yeah, but the ground was the least of their problems. I'll be assured of that with your mind. Now, she turns on this guy and just goes absolutely, totally ballistic on him. He's sitting there at the table trying to pull off some old bullshit, some ridiculous stuff, and she just goes fucking berserk, nuts. And even her and her, uh, her boyfriend, and I even look at she's like, oh shit, it just got real as fuck. I mean, let's talk about when RPGs get real. And it got real on his ass real quick. He... Uh, I was constantly a bad player, always trying to like meta game a little bit, always trying to in character bully a little bit, always trying to power game a lot. I mean, just just ridiculous stuff. Definitely didn't fit to the to the uh, group that we had there, and he was straight up a shit dude too. So I mean, if he ever watched the video, you eat a dick. As far as I'm concerned, chuckle some balls. You feel me? <laughs> you will. Um, so just a complete shit player, uh, all all the way around. Uh, you wouldn't want to hang out with a guy. He had uh, whatever issues he had. There were clearly some dominant inside of his nugget, as well as should be, uh, when when you are a trick work mark for yourself. Now, in playing with him, I mean, again, it was just a, a sheer uh, misery, really, to, to play with a player like that. Now, he didn't even never really going to be featured. You know, I remember it changed. It. They'd be like, uh, you had to do like a bump. You had to do something, which is cool. You, said you could prop out and do something neat. The only thing about the game really I liked is that I encourage you to do a deal. Here's the deal. Oh, I to do the Jedi mind trick. Every goddamn time. No matter what he was doing. Oh, the Jedi mind trick. How about this? How about that for a mind trick? How about you get slapped in the mouth and fall out like the trick you are? So, and he was there, and she just goes nuts on him. I mean, she went so nuts on him that I almost felt bad for him. I mean, I said, like, 
Because I didn't expect that that was coming. It was in her house. It was her deal to do. And trust me, after where she turned to me, why did she jump in? I said, good Lord, what, what, what am I going to be jumping in for? Hey, you've you done everything by yourself, girl. You did not need a run in with a chair to the back of the nugget. It would have been there if she had needed it, but it, she definitely did not. She, this guy got dobblerized, and he was a grown-ass man, and this woman made him just, he slunk out of that apartment like a little bitch. You little bitch. I mean, he just slid out of there like a slug with his slaw in tow. It was the most degrading thing I've ever seen a grown man be put upon. I mean, he was just chewed out like 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 she owned that ass. I mean, she was on him. It was ridiculous. Uh, I, I, I I still I see something. It was probably the most uncomfortable situation I've ever actually had in a game, and I've had some that were uh, that were real. I've seen literally like domestic abuse break out in front of me, and this shit was worse. To give you an idea of the attention, and uh, uh, I mean, she just dressed him down. She's all hell, was just screaming at him, just blaying it in. Boom, one thing after another. Boom, 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 boom tearing. And he's sitting there, and you could tell the second that door shut behind him, the tears were flowing like a river of bitch assness from his face. Uh, and it was astounding. And then afterwards, we're all sitting there. I think we may have even gone back and playing after a bit because I think her, her boyfriend got a good bit stunned. He was stunned for like a D7 plus nine rounds. And after those rounds done passed, I think we may have played a little bit more. But then afterwards, we're talking. He goes, oh, uh, I guess I should email them to make sure he knows not to come back next week because, God, that would be awkward. <laughs>